Now, I don't know if I'm going to follow up on the Crowder drama or not later today or with this video, but I thought it would be worth at least cataloging my opinions uh, or some interesting fun facts. Now, when you look at both sides of the Crowder v. Jared lawsuit, I want to be very clear. I am extremely disinterested in a messy divorce. It seems like a lot of people are in their feelings about, you know, Steven Crowder and his ex-wife getting divorced. That's fine. I'm not. I'm extremely disinterested in that aspect of it. If you think Steven was an a-hole to his ex-wife, that's okay. That's cool. I'm not here to try to convince you otherwise of that. If you think, it doesn't matter to me. By the way, they're both rich. They're both going to be rich. They're both going to be fine. Most people who get divorced aren't. Most divorces uh, end up in bankruptcies and terribly wrecked credit scores for many years and huge messes. Both these people are going to be rich and they're going to be fine. So the amount of people that are in their feelings about this divorce is really weird. Um, but what I thought was interesting is the legal team surrounding it. Now, many people pointed out that Steven Crowder's lawyer is a gay woman, apparently, or something like that, like it was some sort of own. I don't care if, you know, who their lawyers sleep with is not really relevant to me. In fact, Steven Crowder's, like, famously, his agent or something like that is also gay or something, or something his agent or something, something like that, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, like, so I, I don't know why the, like, anti-Crowder people are pushing that. Like, it's an own. I don't get it. I don't care who they sleep with. It's not really interesting to me. But what I do think is interesting is who happens to be defending the individual suing Steven Crowder. Now, whether or not you believe Jared Monroe or whatever his real last name is, doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know. I wasn't there. Maybe the workplace was really toxic. I don't know. But I also don't care because that's not why he's suing. Maybe... He has some sort of, you know, um, you know, uh, he has some sort of vendetta. I don't know. He said he was suing to get out of his NDA. He alluded to the fact that Steven Crowder's NDA is ruining his life and he just can't get any work. So give him money so he can sue to get out of his NDA. Now, the lawsuit dropped today and showed me really no evidence whatsoever that that's what he's interested in doing is that is moving forward instead of getting instead of looking at a hundred thousand dollars and saying hey let me get my life back together he immediately handed it over to a lawyer to again get out of this nda which makes no sense to me because he willingly signed it and i'm not sure what getting out of this nda would allow him to do from a career perspective when you look at the motivations, what does getting out of a non-disclosure agreement, which bars him from talking about working at Crowder, how has that stopped him from getting more work? The non-compete, from what I understand, has long expired. All of the weirdos who are standing Jared in this have told me that. So he wants to get out of his NDA. He wants to get out of his NDA. He wants to get out of his NDA. Give him $100,000 so he can get out of his NDA. Why? Why does he want to get out of his NDA? Will that open more job opportunities for him? I don't think so. I don't think so. Is the job he wants to apply for dishing on Steven Crowder? Does he have a book he wants to write about working for Steven Crowder? I don't understand. Why is the NDA so, NDA so important eight years later? How has this NDA prevented him from getting work? Some people say... Well, if he applies for work at somewhere, and hypothetically, if Steven Crowder's legal team calls and says he's under a uh, under an NDA, hypothetically, people... I have seen no evidence of this. I have seen the lawsuit filed by Matt Bruning, apparently, uh, does not mention this. Doesn't mention that it's been hard for him to get a job or anything like that. But I do find it's pretty interesting who 
is handling Jared's lawsuit. Now it's Matt Bruning. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. I'm not misrepresenting that on purpose. You know, I'm not doing that weird thing where you purposely mispronounce something. I don't know. If you look at who this individual is, he is an act blue leftist. I wonder why he might be interested in getting person, personal files from Steven Crowder. You know, a lot of the other people that left the Crowder show didn't sign NDAs. Dave Lando didn't sign an NDA. But I really think it's weird that this individual is a leftist. A leftist who raises money, who's an act blue leftist who has a Patreon, okay, and runs the People's Policy Project. I wonder if perhaps, I wonder if perhaps there is an ulterior motive. You know, I, I just wonder. We look at who this individual is, apparently an American lawyer, blogger, policy analyst, commentator, and founder of the left-leaning think tank, People's Policy Project. He was a blogger for the American think tank Demos, covering politics and public policy, and has written on issues of income distribution, taxation, welfare, elections, and socialism. He's written for The Atlantic, The Washington Post, The New York Times. Interesting. Interesting. How about this article? Bruin Ghazi, how a feisty Bernie blogger firing explains Democratic policy. So he's a Bernie bro. On one level, this Brungazi is exactly what it seems to be, a matter of considerable importance to one family's finances, but essentially a tempest in a teapot, a series of personal spats boiling out of control. Last Friday afternoon, now this is an article from 2016, so it is 10 years ago, 8 years ago. This isn't exactly yesterday, okay? Last Friday afternoon, a press statement appeared on a website of a think tank demos that set significant segments of the policy of Twitter and left-wing political Twitter ablaze. They had, in essence, fired Matt Bruning from a part-time blogging on their website over his refusal to apologize for a couple of mean tweets he had directed at Nira Tandon, the head of a rival think tank at the Center of, for America Progress. Money, please! Money, please. Matt Bruning is a young attorney who's better known for his side of the career as a data-orientated left-wing writer. And for what I guess you would call his side career as an aggressive left-wing Twitter personality. It seems curious that Jared Monroe would hire this individual as their attorney. Could this attorney have ulterior motives? I don't know. Maybe it's just a job this attorney took and is completely above board. I don't have any evidence suggesting otherwise. Just so we're very clear. Okay. Just so we're very clear. I don't have any evidence to, you know, uh, to point to the fact that this individual who is a longtime leftist writer, Bernie blogger, left-wing political commentator. I don't have any evidence to, to, to suggest the $100,000 committed to him protecting, him protecting him in a legal dispute, allegedly, uh, is anything but just him trying to help another guy out. Maybe it's really just the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Maybe this guy is a leftist, hates Crowder, looked at Jared and said, I'm happy to help. That's entirely possible. It is. It's entirely possible. I do think it was interesting that Jared Monroe then put out, I never tried to extort my former employer. On the contrary, they are now suing me for $1 million. 
trying to cause my family financial ruin and force my silence. Do you know why he's getting sued now? It's because he put out that video and violated his NDA. He's like, oh my God, I stuck my fist in this beehive and the friggin' bees are stinging me. The bees are stinging me. That's not, that's not fair. This baseless retaliatory lawsuit, again, it doesn't seem retaliatory to me. They said, no break of the NDA, you broke of the NDA, and now you're getting sued for it. That's how it works. Some might be calling the stick in the wheel meme entirely reasonable. To me, again, unless, unless I'm just taking crazy pills, you can hate Crowder all you want. Crowder had an NDA with this guy. This guy instead violates the NDA, puts out a video, grifts $100,000, then he gets sued. What did you think was going to happen? You're sending text messages. You're conspiring with his ex-wife to put out negative PR campaigns against him. You're concerned about another man's kids. You, you're surprised that he's suing you? It's a clear violation of the law. I know saying it's a violation definitely makes it a violation. I will not be silenced by legal threats. What are you going to say, Jared? What are you holding on to? I don't understand this. Somebody help me. What piece of information is so important that eight years, six years after you quit this job, you are still obsessed about it? If it was that important, if the information was that big of a deal, why wouldn't you have leaked it by now? I just don't understand. If you have such, six years after you quit, you're taking up this legal battle because it's just getting out of your NDA is so important. What in the hell do you know? And if it's that important, why haven't you leaked it? I don't even understand. He should have moved on by now. Now he's got $100,000, 50000 after taxes. That's a nice little nest egg to launch your podcast, which is what he should do. Because instead, he's going to give it to this lawyer, allegedly, in response to my former employer's unlawful aggression, I have hired a left-wing attorney for the following charge. Read here. And then he puts this, sends traffic to the said left-wing attorney's website. And all they're upset about is a non-disparagement and a confidentiality agreement that he willingly signed. Now, if they were overly broad, from what I'm told from lawyers, uh you know, he can maybe get out of it. But again, why is he so worried about getting out of it? What does he know that he, that it's like ruining his whole life that he can't, that he can't put it out there. Does he want to write a book? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know the answers. I, I suppose we'll have to see in this league, in the lawsuit. Some people are speculating that this is just another attempt to try and hurt Steven Crowder via discovery. Because once you get to the lawsuit, then you can get to discovery and then you can make, you can find out stuff. You can put stuff out in public, all this kind of stuff. You know, I don't know why he's so worried about this. All they do is bring up this stupid video that no one cares about because Hillary then went and deleted the other 2000 hours of footage and eight, 18 seconds of footage from that clip earlier. Yeah, he said, watch it. Okay, so who hasn't snapped at their significant other ever once in their life? I just, all I can say this is I'm willing to be wrong. I'm 100% willing to be corrected, but there must be, it better be a huge bombshell if this guy's letting it ruin his life. Because guess what? Hillary Crowder's going to be rich. Steven Crowder's going to stay rich. What's going to happen to Jared Monroe, who's inserted himself in this? He should have taken the money and ran. That's how it looks for me. But we'll have to see. I have seen zero examples of the claims. There were claims that, oh, he can't get a job because of the NDA. 
which he claimed not once but twice in the video. If I can remember right, I might be wrong, but, but he know he claimed he couldn't get jobs or it was ruining job opportunities for him. How? How is an NDA with your former employer ruining jobs? Why aren't you making that case? Because that I would believe. If Crowder's lawyer was calling up your new jobs and saying, hey, this guy's a piece of garbage, I would 100% back Jared Monroe. You know? Now, should Crowder just let go of the NDA? Probably. But from what I can tell, he didn't enforce it until the guy started trying to meddle in his divorce. Which is something that is extremely understandable. Now he's got a left-wing Bernie bro as his lawyer. I wonder what that guy's motivation might be. It's a fair question. Maybe it's just the money. Maybe he's doing it for free. I guess we'll have to find out. I think it stinks.